Hey everyone, it's Lee here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to mine crypto coins on your Mac laptop or desktop computer. Um, so that's uh, iMac, Power Mac, and all, all those kind of uh, uh, devices. Okay, so we're just going to get started. The first thing you want to do is open up your browser and just go to Google and just type a search for Minergate. Dot com and just uh, click on the first one that you see there uh, the next thing you want to do is actually on the Minergate site you just want to go across to the, the green button that says sign up um, just enter your email address in here Just enter an email address and a password suit that's suitable for yourself. Uh, just click sign up. On the next page, you'll be taken directly to a downloads page. Um, if it's not already selected for you, the one that you want is obviously the Mac version. Um, if you scroll further down, you'll see various options for different platforms. Um, but obviously on this uh, machine, we want the Mac version, which is already pre-selected at the top part up here. So we're just going to select get that. Just wait till that finished downloading. Just gonna select that. Then you, we just need to drag it across to the applications folder. Um, in this instance, just before actually, we'll just go ahead with that. We'll just drag it across to the applications folder. I'm going to replace an existing one that I already had in there. Um, you wouldn't need to do that. We can just close that down. And that's basically that installation part. Now if you just go to your launch pad or you can go to finder and then applications. I'll just go to the launch pad. Then I'm just going to open up the actual miner game miner. Uh, you'll see there that it just popped up an error. I'll just show you how to deal with that. If you go to Finder, then if you go to Applications, if you actually scroll down to the Minergate application, select it, uh, right click and then go to Open, you'll get like a different message and it just says that uh, you need to verify to open it. Uh, click on Open and then it will open normally from that point onwards. Um, so this is the actual Minergate mining application. The top part, you just need to enter the email address that you used to sign up with Minergate.com. You can also additionally add in a password which gives you extended details, but you don't actually need to add in the password. Um, just your email address is fine. Then you just want to click on uh, Start Mining. The first page that you get is a Start Smart Mining. And basically what happens is the Minergate application will use the best uh, uh, configuration it deems to give you the most profitable mining. Uh, personally, I like to click on the next uh, button, which is the little miner there. And then I personally just like to select my own actual miner. At the moment, I'm personally uh, mining XMR, which is Monero. Uh, that's one of my favorite coins to mine. And you can just CPU mine that with your Mac and um, you'll get uh, a reasonable amount of coins without burning too much electricity. Um, so I just uh, click on that. This number on the right hand side here is just how many CPU cores you're going to be using. If you're intending on using the computer at the same time, you probably just want to use half your CPU cores. Um, but in this instance, I'll just set it to two. And we'll select Start Mining. Um, and then you'll see your hash rate. Uh, going up there. Um, additionally, you can also sometimes, depending on the coin, you can also select merge mining. In this instance, I am merging mining it with uh, another coin called Phantom Coin. It's not entirely necessary, but it just means that you're basically mining two coins um, at the same time, and there's no extra, um, you're not losing anything in terms of performance. It's just a more efficient way to mine. So, like I said, that's not, that is an option. 
um, it just makes more sense to do that. Um, so that's pretty straightforward and then you can just uh, uh, minimise it, carry on with your other bits and pieces, whatever you might like to do. Um, I'm just going to jump back to the actual Minergate website. If you then go to Minergate.com and log in using your details, if you then click on your dashboard, you'll see an overview of the current coins that you're actually mining. So you can see here that we're currently mining Monero. We've got 13 coins and a little bit. And it will also show you your current hash rate, um, status online or offline, and also your current active workers. You can actually use uh, multiple machines um, and just make sure they're all using the same email address and they'll all get um, credited to your account. Um, so you can see here I've got two active workers and I'm mining Monero and also at the same time Phantom Coin using that merge mining. Um, so that's basically it. So yeah, really simple just to give you a quick summary. Uh, go to Minergate, sign up with your username, uh, 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 email address, sorry. Uh, download the application, install the application and then um, just start the application with your email address and from there you're going. Um, one other point to mention is you might want to adjust your uh, max power saving settings and um, it's quite common for Macs to turn off um, after a short period of time. Um, if you're intending on mining all the time, um, I wouldn't recommend it for uh, laptop computers, but for a desktop machine, uh, you just want to select your computer to sleep. Um, basically never. I normally turn my screen off, but then I'll just leave the power settings set to um, uh, never turn off. Um, and obviously you can just go to the Apple uh, icon and turn the machine off manually should you wish, but that will just keep it mining um, when you actually want it to mine. Um, so that's basically uh, that. So I um, hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. If you've got any questions, um, just drop those in the comments box. And I um, hope to provide uh, more information to you soon. Thanks for watching.